if I explain to, you know, the listeners how crazy our software system is and why it's so difficult for legacy car companies to get software right, you, you'd be it, it just, well, I'll do it very quickly. Yeah. So to say probably $500 a vehicle, or let's say 350 quid a vehicle. Yeah. We, we farmed out all the modules that control the vehicles to our suppliers because we could bid them against each other. So Bosch would do the body control module. Someone else would do the seat control module. Someone else would do the engine control module. Right. And, and we'd have about 150 of these modules with semiconductors all through the car. The problem is the software are all written by, you know, 150 different companies and they don't talk to each other. Right. And so even though it says Ford on the front, yeah. I actually have to go to Bosch to get permission to change their seat control software. Right. So wow. even if I had a high-speed modem in the vehicle and, and I had the ability to write their software, it's actually their IP. And I have 150, we call it the loose confederation of software providers, 150 completely different wow. software programming languages. You know, all the structure of the software is different. It's millions of code. And we can't even understand it all. So, yeah. you know, that's why at Ford, we've decided in the second generation product to completely insource the electric architecture. Right. And to do that, you need to write all the software yourself. But just remember, car companies have a written software like this. Yeah. Ever. They've yes. never written software. So we're literally writing how the vehicle operates, um, the software to operate the vehicle for the first time ever. Yeah.